Some of you know that I really promote the bedspread fly, and in the picture right now you see a bedspread fly, but tonight I was at the MTFA meeting where time flies, and I saw a variation, uh, somebody had a book, and they called it the Fat Boy. And I said, boy, I just liked the little variation off this Fat Boy that I think I could incorporate with my bedspread fly. So bear with me, we're going to tie a bedspread fly, but we're going to put a little variation on it. So uh, here we go. Okay, we got our, I should adjust my camera a little bit. Okay. Okay, the first thing we do is we put a thread base on. Everybody's familiar with that, so. And because it's a bedspread fly, we're going to take it all the way back. And I'm using red thread. I use, like to use red thread for my collars and the material is going to cover the thread so it doesn't really matter what type you use. But I like to finish up with my red. So now we're going to put the bedspread material on. This is softball yarn. It's a vintage yarn. And remember, I'm going to spin my counterclockwise spin my bobbin. That's going to make my thread jump up to my fingers and this will grab that material nicely. This is a simple fly to tie, so we're going to go back to just about the bend of the hook. Okay, we got the bend of the hook. We make our loop. We bring it around, get four good ties right over top of one another. Pull it down. Lift your material up. Bring your thread to the front. Now, you could use the rotary vise. I'm just going to wind this by hand, save some time. I'm bringing, winding my thread to the front, or my bedspread material to the front. Thread's always. As I bring it up, I'm going to tie this down. Now here's where the change comes in. Let's get this down pretty well secured. Okay. But now I'm going to bring it underneath. I'm going to make a little loop underneath and I'm going to bring this up and tie it again so I've created two loops see them one in the back and one in the front I really like this wait till you see it's finished bring it around a couple of times because we got to make sure we got it secured uh, bring the thread up in the front and we're going to cut the material we're going to have to be a little careful because uh, I want to make sure that I have this secure. So I'm going to pull back on this and now I'm going to build my collar up, making sure that I catch the material I brought forward. And look at now, I can't afford to have a broken thread. But as usual, when you're trying to rush, it breaks. So I'm going to just right now use white. I'll come back with the red. I'm going to put white around. I don't this off. I thought I had it pretty secure. Wrap it a couple times, take my thread around the main, my tag end around the main one, and then bring it up. It's going to lock that thread really down good. And now I'm going to bring up, make sure that I got everything secured. There's a little red thread there. Let's bring that up. Bring my loop around. Okay, now I'm going to trim this off. And actually, everything's not working for me right. I may have to start over again. Do my whip finish. Got it. And now I'm going to rethread my red. I gotta have the red collar. I rethreaded my bob and I put my red collar on. I just like a red collar. Because I'm not, I'm gonna wrap my tag end around my main thread and bring it back up. That's gonna really secure that down. Tag end 
We got hooks flying all over. I guess it's late at night, I should quit. But I want to tie this to, so I don't forget. Okay, do my whip finish. Okay, trim this off. Now you know we trim the back. And then we take those little threads out. Now I'm going to trim the fr this loop in the front. Okay. And I guess what? I got to take the threads out of that. So I'm looking for. So let's go here. It's not quite even, but that's okay. Because it's so short, it should be easy to get those threads out. out of the back. See it's starting to look pretty good isn't it? Well you got it upside there we go. It's starting to look pretty good. We'll open the take the threads off that comb cotton and we'll remove the threads. You remember there's four of them. Two, there's three four. Three. That's four. Okay, now. I like this little furry thing in the bottom. And it's going to sort of give it, because naturally, hold on, the hook. Let me adjust my camera. The fly's going to go through the water this way. So it's going to really give it some... A lot of action. The tail's going to have an action. We're going to have action up here in the front. I think that's going to be really cool. Well, anyway, that's my bedspread fly with a variation. I hope you like it.